Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. We're back here again and as you can see, I am also back from my mining trip. And with that came so many ores that I don't really know what to do with all of them. I mean, just check all of this. There's so many ores and only one furnace to smelt them. So what we're going to do today is building an extension to our little starter house. Obviously, we're going to be changing this yet in the days to come. Alright, so first off, since I'm thinking we're going to be building into this mountain, uh, what we're going to be doing is making a staircase up and probably build further over this way so that our house can be a little bit on the this hill here or what we also could do is build it underground as well which is i'm thinking i'm going to be doing since this is going to be a smeltery and we're going to be doing some other projects up here on this hill later on we're just going to be building it in the ground for this for the smelting room so that is not to bother us too much so yeah I do have a bunch of wood and some cobblestone with me already. And as you can see, I did find diamonds as well in the mines from last episode when I went mining off camera. So I do have a diamond pickaxe with me. But for now, let's make a first, make a little hole here so that where we want to dig. Uh, since we have a seven, seven block house here, we're going to be making a hallway going from here so probably about three blocks wide we're going to be taking out this middle pillar and digging out a hole so i will be getting into digging this hole here really quick and in the meantime i will cut this part out so as not to bore you all so yeah i'm going to be starting to dig out this hole here and cut to the part when I have the specified dimensions that I want here and I'll explain it all to you. Alright, so as you can see, I dug out this hole here and I will explain the dimensions to you here. Um, so what we have is basically five squares, five blocks on each side. One, two, three, four, five. And then went along with that 12 along. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And with like that, we have our little base here. And we also have these two steps that I'm going to be taking so that we have a bit of a larger room going a little more down. So now all we need to do is decide what to make the floors and the walls out of. And I think I have decided on something probably white for the floor and then something out of stone for the wall so that it matches with the furnaces so let's see what i decide with here and continue on all right so i'm back here after a half an hour of looking for marble and i finally i think i have enough to make the floor out of this so let's dig out this floor and replace it all with marble as you can see i had a little bit of fun with the chisel the chisel tool here we're going to be using that for our room here so that we can make it a little quicker and make it a little more exquisite and a little better looking than before so let's mine this out here oh i remember putting that cobblestone there i mined out a bit of ore okay i mined out the floor now to replace it with marble all right so now we have our little floor here it's time to see how this chisel works so the way i figured it out is if you right click on your mouse you can actually put a single or panel you know however you want it i'm going to use the panel of course you can always just put the cobblestone or whatever block you have in there and replace it that way but since we already placed it down on the floor we're going to be using the panel and looking to see what our best option is so i'll be going through a few of them and uh okay this one looks fine to me for a smeltery i think this should be completely fine we have one different block there and i will be changing that right away some of this marble looks the same <laughs> okay yeah, this one this part of here is different so let's replace that with the actual marble and boom okay just this part here yet no, not that kind of marble there we go and boom we have our floor here done. Let's just replace these tiles here as well. And we'll move on to the wall. Okay, time to mine out the walls here. And then replace it with 
cobblestone, as you'll see in a minute we'll be chiseling that as well, into this one type of stone that I think will look really cool for a smeltery. Again, I'll be right, cut right back to when I'm done with the walls. Here we go, as you can see I have replaced the walls and the ceiling with cobblestone. We're going to be using the chisel now and seeing what kind of stone we want for these walls. Ah. Uh, I think we're going to be using this one. This one looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can find the one that matches up with this one. Here we go. And continue on till we find the right one for the whole room. I've already gone through a whole diamond chisel trying to finish that room. Why is there a skeleton standing here? Okay, he's gone now. Continuing on. I'll just make another chisel and get back right back to it. There was a way easier way I could have done this, just chisel the whole blocks, but I kind of wanted to, oh, okay, I missed that one. I kind of wanted to see where it could go with this. And I am finding out now this was a bad mistake. And I missed it again. Okay, slowly this time. And there we go. And that's one thing that sucks here too, is because it's the last one. So I have to go through all of the different variations of it. And there we go, we have almost finished our smeltery. I think that's looking pretty good. Looking better than our house even. But all we need is some doors now, so let's check what kind of doors we have. A door, okay. We need something that looks machinery, so that it doesn't look anything like wood a dark steel door we don't have that so we'll probably have to settle with a balsa door but we also don't have that mmm okay a compressed iron uh, maybe a men no we don't have that either I guess we'll have to just make do with the either the reinforced door or a spruce door for now just until we can get some more materials for some better doors so let's just put these doors in there boom boom and boom okay next up we need to make the furnaces we have to check as well if we can have some if we do have some extra furnaces or if it's oh, not done or if it's just the one type we have our normal furnace of course we have a resourceful furnace electric furnace Iron furnace, I'm guessing this is something that we're going to be needing. A blast furnace, induction furnace. So for now, I think we have enough to make the iron furnace. So we'll be making that. So what we need is five iron plates and furnaces, of course. And for iron plates, we need the engineer's hammer, hammer which we have picked up from the village, as well as an iron ingot. So let's get right to that. Let's take our iron. Oh, okay, I have that. And the engineer's hammer. Make a lot of these so the whole plate there get all of our cobblestone back out make a lot of furnaces so I think we have enough for eight here we have our 12 furnaces let's put them all in here let's say we would put probably six here one two three four five six and six here so that it's symmetrical two three four five six and let's check them out so what we need is okay we can collect the experience that's something new what we need more now is coal and we can put all of our ores in here to start smelting it uh, i'm gonna check if we do have tinger's construct which means we can make okay we do we do so we can make the smeltery as well later on but we need a lot of grout and stuff for that so for now we'll just take our coal all of it and we do have a bunch of it so we should be good and of course we need to take our ores so we can start smelting these divide them up into our furnaces and continue from there and all of our furnaces have coal now let's put in the ores so there's gold aluminum man infused iridium tin 
And is that it? Is that it? Yes, that is it. Alright, let's get our other ores and smelt them as well. Of course, we need this iron ore, so we're just gonna put that in there. This aluminum and the copper. The copper we needed for something important last episode, it was the mining computer, right? So I think we could make that. So we can make our miner and let it mine for us. So let's put our platinum, our tin, lead, silver, we have more lead, uh, aluminum, copper, and iron, and wait for those to smelt. What do we need for the miner? We need electric electronic circuits, which we need iron plates for as well as insulated copper cables and redstone. We do have all of that. So let's go make our electronic circuits, get our redstone, our iron plates, and what else do we need again? I am so forgetful in these, these ways. So we need insulated copper cables. So we need the rubber and we need copper cables. Copper plates is easy to be made, okay. Um, we do have our redstone. Let's go to sleep first before the mobs go. Oh, they're already nearby. Let's take care of them really quick. Go to sleep. Another morning full of productivity. We need, we need, what do we need again? We need the rubber. We need rubber. That's what we need. Okay, how do we get rubber? To get rubber, we need tiny dry rubber. To get tiny dry rubber, we need dry rubber. So this is uh, this is confusing. Can we use this for anything? No, we can't. Can we somehow need to get rubber, but how do we get that rubber? Is the big question here. Uh, plastic, we need dry rubber, of course. And to get dry rubber, we need tiny dry rubber. For that, we need sticky resin. Sticky resin is made from... Propolis? Okay, what? I will have to research this a little bit. Oh, okay, I think I figured it out. So, we need some wood. We need to craft a tree tap. So that it can probably extract the rubber from a rubber tree. Just, ooh, a dog. Wait, we do have a bone. I think we do have a bone. Wow. We did it. We have a dog. I don't know what to name him yet. I'll let the comments name him. This is our first dog of this series. I'll leave him here for now since I don't want him to get hurt and die right away. I will leave that to you guys. You can comment down below to see what would be the name for this dog oh okay here we go we have a rubber wood tree here and we found our sticky resin all we need to do is put this tap there and we have our sticky resin all right cool so we need a little bit more of this so we need to find more rubber trees they look a little darker than the other ones yeah so we need about six of those so we need to find six more of these trees and yet I can't really see anymore. I'll go run around and cut back to when I have enough. All right, so I'm finally back after another 20 minutes of searching. And I've found, I think, enough sticky resin here. All right, I have my sticky resin now, but we ran out of time for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Please be sure to check out the rest of my videos. I do have a Dishonored series and another Micro series with my friend. And that I will be uploading to as well shortly. I hope you all enjoyed this episode though. And be sure to like and subscribe. I will see you all next time.